Hello and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today we are going to do a firmware update. So thank you for joining. This is Fluke Fridays episode number 60. I can't believe it. Um, I'm actually going to be on vacation the last half of this week. So I'm recording this a little early. So you'll see it on Friday, but I'm actually recording on Monday. So I don't have any questions since Friday last week to do any Q&A with this time. But we're going to go over the new ii910 ii900 firmware update how you can download that firmware and get the most out of your tool and then i'll also add a little bit about the flute premium care plan at the end and how if you don't like doing firmware updates you can take advantage of using them to uh, update things for you so i just pulled up uh, fluke.com right here and i'm gonna go hover over support again this is in uh, the u.s i don't know if all countries are going to be the same, but in the U.S. you go over support and then download software and updates. And there's a whole list of things and you might be able to find it in that list. I like just typing in and then search. If that doesn't work. Try 900 search and boom. Fluke i900 series software and firmware upgrade. I'm going to click that. And right away, you come into here, you can kind of see a few different things you can do. You can register your product online here. You can download Fluke Connect Desktop here. And right here is how you can get the firmware. So you click this and it'll actually download. Um, I've already downloaded this, but I haven't moved any of the files or done anything. So you can see the instructions. You're going to make sure that your i900 series it has at least 25 percent battery charge um, that shouldn't be an issue but just don't make sure make sure your battery's not almost dead because it doesn't want to if it uh is halfway through a firmware update and the battery dies you're going to be sending that camera back to fluke to uh get that rebooted so you don't want that the next is you're going to use the USB-C cable connect it to the bottom of the laptop or bottom of the i900 and or i900 i910 and your computer then you connect to windows and you should see this let me pull that window over you should see something that'll show up in your browser like this flk i900 series just like it says here and then once you have the file you're going to drag and drop it in here so let me go ahead and This, yep. So we've got this that we downloaded, drag it over. And you can see the moment it downloaded, it went over to here and instantly this pops up that says, firmware update you just hit start update and give it a little bit of time and it'll do its thing i'll probably speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole time and then you'll see it says reset so hit reset and your camera will reboot So there's the new thing, one of the new things that you can add. You can add undetermined, asset as found, asset as left. So if you found the asset with the leak, then you go back, you fix the leak, you take a second one that says asset uh, as left. So that's one of the new features on it, as well as some of the reporting features. So, okay, so we looked at that real quick. I will kind of highlight these features. I alluded to it, but Asset inspection as found as left. You just saw that on the II910 and what that would look like. You just click on one of the images and you can uh, 
have your image or your uh, classification status changing. And then the CO2 emissions, I believe this is just done through the Leak Q reporter tool, online reporter tool. There's another video that I've made on doing those reports online before, and it will estimate your CO2 emissions. Now, I'm not, I haven't had much experience with this, but uh, it very likely will underestimate what the actual is, but it will at least give you an idea. Okay, the other thing I was going to say, and I mentioned this before at the very beginning, Fluke Premium Care Plans. I did a different video on this. Uh, you can look at that in the I-900 playlist. But Fluke Premium Care Plans are kind of like a preventative maintenance, annual preventative maintenance. You can send your camera into Fluke, and they're going to do all this kind of stuff for you. They're going to update your firmware. They're going to make sure the microphones are clean, kind of get that all good. And it's also like accident protection or insurance. So if you drop it, you run it over with a truck, they'll replace or fix the unit at no extra charge. The other thing is any missing accessories or law, uh, broken accessories, batteries not working, they'll replace those with Fluke Premium Care Plan as well. So if you don't want to update the firmware yourself, you want to make sure you're always up to date, you can either do it yourself or if you have the Premium Care Plan, when it goes in for its annual check, they're going to do all the updates for you so that you always have the most up to date um, features and bug fixes that Fluke has come out with. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. It's very easy to do this upgrade on your own. Um, and as long as you have a computer that you can have USB access to, which I know not all plants will allow that. So good luck with that. Have a great weekend. I've hopefully had a great week. We're going to be out hiking in the Grand Canyon and Zion National Park. So hopefully that will be a wonderful time with my wife and I. So thank you guys. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.